Hello everyone, myself Abhishek Das. I am going to discuss today 8086 microprocessor. It is the first 16-bit microprocessor which was invented in the year of 1978 in the month of April, but officially it was launched in the June. 8086 microprocessor has some features. The main features are it is 16 bit microprocessor. Its clock frequency is 5 MHz. It requires 5 volt power supply. It has 16 bit data bus and 20 bit address bus. The 20 bit address bus means it can access up to 1 MB memory location. It is 40 pin IC. It can support up to 64 kilobyte input output port. It has two operating mode, one is the maximum or one is the minimum operating mode. Before going to detail about 8086, we have to know the difference or comparison between 8085 and 8086. We all know that 8085 is the 8-bit microprocessor whereas 8086 is a 16-bit microprocessor. 8085 has 16 address bus whereas 8086 has 20 bit address bus. 8085 can access up to 16 kilobyte whereas 8086 can access 1 MB of location. 8085 doesn't have any instruction queue whereas 8086 has instruction queue. 8085 doesn't support a pipelining architecture whereas 8086 support the pipelining architecture. The cost of 8085 is low, whereas the cost of 8086 is high. These are the few comparison between 8085 and 8086. This is the pin diagram of 8086. 8086 and 8085 both are the 40 pin IC, but in 8086, we can see in the pin diagram there is two mode of operation, one is the maximum mode and one is the minimum mode. Here number 1 and number 20 pin are the ground pin and the 40 is the power supply pin. This is the architecture of 8086. In this architecture we can see that it is divided into two part, one is the execution unit and one is the bus interface unit. In execution unit, all the register part is there and all the flag register is also there. But in bus interface unit, we can see that segment register and instruction queue. Now we are going to discuss the detail about these two part. Initially we consider the execution unit. The main component of execution unit are instruction decoder, control system, arithmetic logic unit, general purpose register, flag register and pointer and index register. Instruction decoder. It translates instruction fetch from the memory into a series action which execution unit carries out. Control system. It generates timing and control signal to perform the internal operation of the microprocessor. ALU. ALU is present as a arithmetic logic unit. Here all the arithmetical operation is done. Now the important part of the execution unit. This is the general purpose register. 8086 has 8 general purpose register. They are the AX, BX, CX, DX. AX stands for accumulator, B stands for, BX stands for base. CX stands for count and DX stands for data. All these registers are 16 bit register, but when they are divided into two parts such that H and L, H stands for high, L stands for low, they act as a 8 bit register. Now we are discussing about flag register. 8086 has a 16-bit flag register among them 8 are active flag. This flag are divided into two flag condition. 
one is the conditional flag another is the control flag there are six conditional flag or status flag and three control flag now we are going to discuss the detail of this flag register the conditional flag or status flag are six type carry flag parity flag auxiliary carry zero flag sign flag and overflow flag now we have to know when this flag are set or reset carry flag if the operation is contain 8 bit of data then the and if the answer is 9 bit then the carry flag is set condition such that if carry occur in an operation then carry flag is set condition or one parity flag if in the result even number of one occurred then the parity flag is set condition auxiliary carry if in the operation the carry occur during d3 to d4 bit then auxiliary carry is set condition zero flag if the whole answer is zero then the zero flag is set condition sign flag if d7 bit is one then the sign flag is one or set condition finally overflow flag it has no significant in unsigned arithmetic operation but in case of signed arithmetic operation the overflow flag is set to one now we are going to discuss about control flag there are three kind of control flag trap flag interrupt flag and directional flag trap flag it is used for single step control it allow the user to execute the instruction of a program at a time for error detection interrupt flag when it is set interrupt is enable and when it is zero interrupt is disable and finally direction flag when it is set source index and destination index are automatically decremented to one from the highest memory location to the lowest memory location now we are going to discuss about bus interface unit the bus interface unit in bus interface unit the main component are instruction queue segment register and instruction pointer instruction queue it operates in fifo such that first in first out principle it is of 6 byte length which is used to speed up the execution of program when the execution unit is executing or decoding an instruction which does not require use of external buses or the segment register bus interface unit can be thought of as being ideal since the bus interface unit independently functional the bus interface unit fetches the next instruction byte for the execution unit and stores them in the queue next one pipeline this is the most important feature in 8086 in 8086 the bus interface unit works in parallel with execution unit such that bus interface unit fetches the instruction byte while execution unit executing the instruction the simultaneous operation of bus interface unit and execution unit are possible only when execution unit does not require the system bus this process of fetching the next instruction from the memory is advanced while execution unit is executing the current location and this is the known as the pipelining now we are going to discuss about the memory segmentation there are four memory segmentation and they are code segment stack segment data segment and extra segment these are the typical segmentation memory 
of 8086. The data segment, the function of data segment is it contains the data for the program. The function of core segment is contain the instruction of the program. The stack segment is whole stack of the program and extra segment it is an additional data segment that is used by some string operation and this is the typical segmentation memory of 8086. So already I have discussed the function of this different segmentation. So the function of code segment is contain instruction of the program. The function of stack segment is whole stack of the program. The function of data segment is contain the data of the program and the function of extra segment is it is an additional data segment that is used by some string operation. So these are the code segment, data segment and stack segment and extra segment memory space. The whole memory range is 1 MB which is the, which is the most important characteristics of 8086 and the memory location starting from 0 hex to f f f f f hex segment register hold the upper 16 bit of the starting address for each of the segment so i have already told that four segment register are code segment register data segment register stack segment register and extra segment register This is the segment register once again. The code segment is 1000, data segment is 4000 and extra segment is 5000. As the address bit is 20, so the code segment is 10000, data segment is 400000, extra segment is 50000 and extra segment is F0000 hex. Address segment is 20 bit. A segment register stored only upper 16 bit. Bus interface unit always insert 0 for the lowest 4 bit of the 20 bit starting address. If CS is 3484A, then the code segment will be start at 348A0 hex. A 16KB segment can be located anywhere of the memory but will start at an address with 0 in the lowest 4 bit. Now what is instruction pointer? It holds the address of memory location of the next instruction to be executed. It is 16-bit register. This is the one of the important or one of the example of segment register mathematics where code segment is 348A0X and index pointer, instruction pointer 4214 hex. So the code byte is 3438 A B 4 hex. This is the physical address. And if the code segment value and instruction pointer value is given, then we can easily calculate the physical address. And this is the um, one example of how to calculate physical address from the code segment value and the instruction pointer stack segment in stack pointer register upper 16 bit of the starting address of stack segment is stored in stack segment register it is located in 
bus interface unit stack pointer register holds 16 bit of offset from the start of the stack segment to the top of the stack it is located in execution unit before going to other pointer and index register we have to know the advantage of the memory segmentation the first advantage is that the only 16 bit register are required to store both segment base address and the offset address second advantage is in normal computer system time sharing process is used there is few disadvantage of memory segmentation the first one is the hardware is very complex and program are limited to the segment size now we are going to discuss other pointer and index register the other pointer and index register are the first one is a base pointer it can be used as a pointer to a memory location in the stack next one is the source index and the destination index these are suitable for accessing the element of an array from the memory base pointer source index and destination index can also be used for the temporary storage of data and they are the main use of main use to hold a 16 bit offset of a data word in one of the segment now we are going to discuss about the instruction set which is used for the 8086 programming 8086 suppose six type of instruction data transfer inst instruction the few example of data transfer instruction is move exchange push pop etc arithmetic instruction the few example of arithmetic instruction is add adc sub sbb etc logical instruction the few example of logical instruction are and or xor etc number 4 string manipulation instruction moves compares lods these are the few example of string manipulation instruction next one processor control instruction the example of cmc cld lock etc control transfer instruction the example are call jump etc now we are going to discuss addressing mode of 8086 the different way in which a source operand is denoted in an instruction is known as the addressing mode there are eight different addressing mode in 8086 the first one is immediate addressing mode the addressing mode in which the data operand is a part of the instruction itself number two register addressing mode here the register is the source of an operand of an instruction number three direct addressing mode the addressing mode in which the effective address of the memory location is written directly in the instruction next one register addressing mode this addressing mode allow data to be addressed at a memory location through an offset address held in any of the following register bx bx bp di si next one base addressing mode in this addressing mode the offset address of the operand is given by the sum of the content bx or bp register and 8 bit and 16 bit displacement number six in this addressing mode in this addressing mode the operand offset address is found by adding the content of source index or destination index register and 8 bit or 16 bit displacement number seven base index addressing mode in this addressing mode the offset address of the operand is computed by summing of the base register to the content on the index register the last one base index with displacement mode in this addressing mode the operand's offset is computed by adding base register content now the application of 8086 Here we have discussed different modes of operation, different instruction and all other uh, architecture of 8086. Now we have to know what is the application of 8086. They are used in gaming device, they are used in mobile phone, laptop and some electronics gadget. 
देर यूज इन ट्राफिक कंट्रोल वाशिंग मेशिन माइक्रोवेव ओभन फ्रिकुएन्सि काउंटार एंड डिजिटल क्लक एंड दे आर अल्सो यूज इन डिफारेंट प्लैटफर्म थैंक यू एवरी वन टू वाच दिस भिडियो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी देन यू कैन कन्टैक्ट उथ मी